What's up, people of YouTube? I'm Karstowski, and welcome to the Karstowski Games YouTube channel. In today's video, we have a very, very special treat. Today marks the very first day of the Winter Spring Wii Bowling or Wii Sports Bowling Tournament. And this tournament will be up against all 16 Mii's and pretty much just bowling to see who is the overall best me in Wii Sports Bowling on my console. So here are the rules. So there will be 16 man field and there will be two bowlers each match. Each bowler will bowl a three game set total pinfall. The bowler with the highest pinfall total after three games will move on to the next round, and so on. There will be a round of 16, a round of 8, a round of 4, and then finally, our championship match. So, our first match for our bracket today is Dewey against Peewee. So, without further ado, let's get this tournament started and let's meet our bowlers. Ladies and gentlemen, first up in our match, he is one of the oldest Mies ever on Karsatowski's Wii, Dewey. Alright, Dewey will start us off, and I think he's going to go hard and straight to start off with. Uh, where's he going to go? Looks like he's going to go about first arrow. Well, that's pretty direct. And touch high left a four pin. Easy pick up there for Dewey. And he indeed covers it nicely. Our number two bowler for this match. He has the smallest face out of any me you will probably ever see. It's Pee Wee. And let's see where Pee Wee's gonna do this. I think Pee Wee's gonna go hard and straight as well. Looks like he's gonna go about the similar line. That looked a tad bit slow, in my opinion. Great cover for Pee Wee. So both these players start off with 9 spare and 8 spare, respectively. I think Dewey made a pretty good shot, but he's probably going to have to make a slight adjustment. Perfect strike. Looks like he moved a tad right and just threw it the same way, and it actually gone flush strike. Now let's see if Pee Wee can make an adjustment. Looks like he's going to throw it about the same line. Huh. It almost looks like Pee Wee is throwing it a little bit slower than Dewey. So he might have to make a slight adjustment in order to keep up with Dewey. And Dewey has the pocket pretty good. Thurn two good shots and have one four pin and one strike through two frames. Yeah, Dewey is definitely throwing the ball a little bit harder than Pee Wee. Right there. Flush strike, almost leaving a stone eight, but it just trips it out. So Pee Wee may have to be thinking about making an adjustment here. Yeah, do yeah. Pee Wee's probably getting a little bit of that transition that Dewey is, but I think he's just throwing a little bit too slow to play that angle. And both these bowlers are clean through three frames. And Dewey opens up with a turkey to start. Dewey in very comfortable position in this first game of the first match of 16. Pee Wee's going to have to find some rhythm. And it looks like Pee Wee might be making an adjustment here. He's moved a little bit more in, and it still creeps up high. So every shot that Pee Wee has had, it's gone high. Tough cover here for Pee Wee. Ooh, he made a run at it, but not quite. So Dewey is looking very comfortable in this first match. Ooh, 
Ooh, a little bit light. But again, that time makes out the five pin. Dewey may have to think about making another adjustment here. I mean, Pee-wee might have to make an adjustment. So Pee-wee definitely gave that ball a little bit more room, but it comes up light and leaves a four pin. Pee-wee's going to have to figure out something pretty quick. I think that Dewey is probably going to take this match, but Pee-wee's going to have to figure out something for the next two games. Another good shot, and that one just doesn't hook quite enough. But it's okay, because as long as Dewey stays clean throughout this game, I think he's going to win. Mm. That one comes up a little bit high. That's the first ball that Pee Wee has thrown that's actually crept a little bit high. Yeah, Pee Wee is definitely throwing the ball a lot slower than Dewey. So he's going to have to make a really big adjustment. And another strike for Dewey. Five of seven in this first game. Oh, it looks like Pee Wee is moving back further right. Just whatever Pee Wee is doing is not working. He hasn't had a strike through seven frames, and all the, stri and all the shots have either been too light or too high. And that was just... A very poor attempt at that spare. Yeah, Pee Wee's just gonna have to figure something out. Honestly, Dewey can pretty much try everything from here on out. He is going to win game one with a double and with six strikes through eight frames and with no opens, he's pretty much comfortably won this match. And Pee Wee finds a strike. So I think what's been happening with Pee Wee is he just wasn't getting throwing the ball fast enough. He was just throwing it too soft and the ball would just keep creeping high. But Dewey is definitely throwing it right around that 19.5, 20 miles an hour. And Pee Wee's average is probably about 18 miles an hour. Big difference for going straight. But when you're going straight, and you put that many revs on a bowling ball, you've got to be able to throw it fast. And right there, that was probably just a touch slow. Good shot, but just a touch slow. Alright, so Dewey is heading into the 10th frame with, a, with an 82-pin lead over Pee-wee. Oh, now this is interesting, because if Dewey doesn't pick this up, and if Pee Wee strikes out in the 10th frame, then this match will be within 30 pins going into the next game. He may kind of run at it, but make sure to get count. So here's situation. Pee Wee can strike out for 155. He will be within 79 pins, or 69 pins, behind Dewey, if he strikes out. Yeah, he, he's just not throwing it fast enough to get it there. Excuse me, he could have went out for 165. Now he can only go out for 153. There we go. I think Pee Wee needs to throw it more like that next game. But it's a little bit, but it's too little too late, pretty much. So Dewey has a comfortable 224 to open up this match. And Pee Wee has started out with a 153. But we still got two more matches, folks, so stay tuned. So Dewey had a 71-pin victory over Pee-wee that last game. Let's see if Dewey makes any adjustments this game. And it looks like he's sticking with hard and straight. That line seemed to be working for him good last game, and if it's not broken, don't fix it. 
Honestly, I think that if Pee Wee has to have... I think for Pee Wee to have any kind of chance whatsoever, he needs to average at least 260 over the next two games and hope that Dewey shoots like a couple 180s or 190s. Pee Wee is just not throwing it hard enough to get it there. He's going to have to make a major move in order to get his ball to strike. And however, Dewey, I think, is playing the lanes correctly. He has a good ball speed and good rev rate to get to the pocket consistently. I think that's a pretty good line for Pee Wee. It's just he's getting the ball just too high in the pocket. Whatever Pee Wee is doing, the ball is just hooking a little bit too much. Another great shot from Dewey, and he has a turkey to open up this game. Pee Wee's going to need some help from Dewey, but I'm not sure if he's going to get it. Yeah, he's throwing it at least two miles too slow to be playing that line. He's going to have to throw it a lot faster. And that right there is just putting himself into an even bigger hole. Three open frames to start off game two. And Dewey has the front three. And make it front four. Yeah, today is just not Pee Wee's day. It's a bad way to go for Pee Wee, but it's looking more and more like Dewey is going to go on to a round of eight. And that's really about the first shot that's gone high for Dewey, except for that one shot in game one. But he can afford stuff like this as long as he continues to get consecutive strikes because Pee Wee isn't really giving him anything to really be concerned about. Oh, he honestly got robbed of that one. He really should have tripped out that four pin. Well, that one went light for Dewey. But now Dewey has back-to-back -back open frames. Very uncharacteristic from the last game. Oh, he actually trips out that two pin. So it's not too late for Pee Wee in this game. Dewey has had back-to-back -back open frames, but Pee Wee is just going to have to strike out for this game and hope that Dewey just stops striking. And so far, Dewey has had three shots back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back that haven't struck. So this is Pee Wee's time to catch up. Yeah, that was dead left a target the whole way. That had no chance. Oh, and Dewey gets away with the trip two pin. Yeah, that was way right for Pee Wee. Pee Wee's pretty much trying every line you can for a right hander, and nothing is working right now for him. That ball didn't read the lane properly for Dewey, but he's in a great position right now for this match. Pee Wee's just trying everything he can, but nothing's working. And Dewey's just continuing to play hard and straight. And he's going to shoot another 200. Oh, that was close. Well, that's going to be 202 if he spares, which he does. Pee Wee's going to shoot another 250. Well, there we go. Well, that's a little bit of glimmer of hope for Pee Wee. Just a little glimmer of hope. But I think, again, that was a little bit too little too late. So Dewey has a 202 for game two for a grand total of 426. 
and Pee Wee has a 150 this game for a grand total of 303. Pee Wee is 123 pins behind Dewey. So in order for Pee Wee to have a chance at beating Dewey for this match, Pee Wee has to beat Dewey by at least 124 pins in order for Pee Wee to take this match. But as of right now, Dewey's pretty much cruising along. Let's see if he can keep his momentum. A nice trip 10 pin. Looks like Dewey's gonna try to go cross lanes again, and it just he just gets it too far right again. Oh, that would have been a great cover. And unfortunately, the ball just hooked a little bit too much. Honestly, that's okay, because as long as Dewey keeps filling frames, he's pretty much going to move on to the top eight. Honestly, that shot looked really good for Pee Wee, except for the last six feet. And that's pretty much how it's been for Pee Wee. He just hasn't been able to throw the ball fast enough this entire match. Like, nothing's been working for Dewey. I mean, nothing's been working for people. And yet Dewey is in the right spot. He's throwing it good. He's got high enough rev rate. He's filling frames. He's doing everything he needs to do in order to win a three-game match. But Pee-wee is having an awful ball reaction right now. Yeah, nothing is working for him right now. And yet, he has another game where he has three open frames to start out with. Huh. Dewey's kind of getting caught up in that transition, too, it looks like. But again, as long as Dewey keeps filling frames, then that's pretty much all he needs to do to beat Pee Wee. There we go. Honestly, I think Pee Wee probably should have played the edge of the gutter the whole time. He may not be beating Dewey by now, but I think this would be a much closer match. At least probably within 30 or 40 pins. And that ball just never grabbed the lane. A great break for Pee Wee trying to claw his way back into this match. Dewey has a ripper strike. Almost leads a 7-10. Let's see how Pee Wee answers. Oh, trips out the 4-pin. It's a great break for Pee Wee. Massive break. Huh. That ball never grabbed the lane for Dewey. The game can't even believe that. Dewey looks like he's kind of losing his ball reaction. His ball, I, I think he's probably throwing the ball a little bit too fast. And the ball is just not reading the lane properly. And Pee Wee has a nice strike for his very first hand bone of the match. So Pee Wee has definitely found a sweet spot. But is it enough to take on Dewey? And for the first time, Dewey looks like he's really struggling. I think Dewey's just going a little bit too fast and probably getting ahead of himself. And probably feeling a little bit too comfortable right now. But he does have a 123 pin lead over Pee Wee heading into this game. And that's five in a row for Pee Wee. Nice strike. He split the eight pin to crack open a six pack. Oh, Dewey left the door wide open with that split right there. Wow. Well, he went for it. Didn't quite pick it up. So that's a 161 for Dewey. P 
Pee Wee has seven strikes in a row. Just clawing back into this game. Oh, he almost leaves the same thing Dewey did. Instead of, it's just a weak 10 bin. So that is a 223 to 161 match. All right, so the results are in. So Dewey has a three game score of 587. And Pee Wee has a three game score of 526. So Dewey survives with a 61 pin victory over Pee Wee. But that was some comeback for Pee Wee at the end there. I think if Pee Wee would have stayed aggressive and to the right a little bit more in those first two games, I think he would have shot at least probably about 190 or 20 in at least the first game and probably close to about 210, 220 to keep this game within at least a 30, a 20 to 30 pin match. But it will be Dewey who will be moving on to our top eight. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed the very first match of the Wii Sports Bowling Winter Spring Tournament. I'm Karsatowski and I've been your commentator today and make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel so you will never miss any more videos and so you will never miss the rest of the tournament. I'm Karzatowski. Keep watching my content and I will see you in the next video. See you guys.